Agri, you say uh, approached the, the, mineral of mineral of, the Minister of Mineral Affairs uh, some years ago and asked for a moratorium to be uh, imposed on the, the whole shell gas production issue so that we can, so that the department can do more research uh, on the safety and the effect of, of uh, shell gas production on the environment but also on the, the, the agricultural sector. It expired about almost two years ago <coughs> and since then the department has been in, in negotiations with the different companies that want to produce shale, shale gas. We were also in discussions with them, with the department but also with some of, of the companies to, uh, to require from them to do responsible shale gas fracturing and, and production in the end. However, at the moment the, the process is going ahead and, and we are not satisfied that all the research has been done and all the requirements have been met. Uh, certainly not in terms of the possibility of destroying uh, scarce water resources, especially in the arid areas of South Africa, but also in some of the higher production uh, areas. We are concerned about the, the studies that have been done in terms of, of, of uh, job creation Unemployment is a major concern in South Africa. It's no use, even in food security, we take it into account. Can people afford the food? It's the same with energy. We, we can produce the energy, but it must be affordable. In the end, it mustn't have a negative effect on food security, on, on uh, infrastructure, uh, etc. And those are our major concerns that have not been met by the research that, been done, that has been done so far. Once those exploration rights have been granted, it automatically leads to, to the, the granting of, uh, of uh, 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 the, the right to, to do uh, more exploration and prospecting and that leads to production rights. So you're actually you're, you're in a process that is very, very hard to stop. And we want more checks and balances in, in that process so that if there are negative effects, that it can be stopped in time. You know, the, the oversight from government, not only in, in mining, but in a, in a whole uh, range of other economic activities, is not really up to standard, and that is our concern. In the end, South Africa must maintain, and maybe we don't appreciate it as much, as the most food secure country and nation in Africa. And we must maintain that situation. Last year with the drought, I think it was a good example. We as farmers and agri -SA as an organization <coughs> committed ourselves to maintaining food security and we did it through that very difficult time. We maintained food security in South Africa, both in terms of, of the production, the responsible production, but also the affordability of food. And that is, that is the, the, the problem that we have. While that production is going on, there must be remuneration for that farmer so that, that the whole process remains sustainable. In the end, we must not just have a rehabilitation of the land, but we must have rehabilitation of the agricultural potential of the land. And that's not been taken up in any legislation in South Africa. So the, the regulatory framework is lacking uh, and, and the policy framework is not adequate at the moment to ensure that eventually those farmers will be, be able to continue with, with their farming, that the infrastructure will actually be improved and not destroyed in the process, you know, roads that will be destroyed and so on, they're overutilized. That those, all those requirements will, will be uh, in place as well as the, the support to those rural communities to, to ensure that they will have jobs and be, remain sustainable and in the end, that we will uh, be in a position where we will be able to farm and produce and, and maintain South Africa's uh, position in terms of food security.